y'all and welcome to today's video. We are going to be judging new makeup. That's right. We are going to look at all the new releases and say, hate it, love it, want to buy it, don't want to buy it. It's just meh. It's okay. We don't have any feelings about it. We're going to talk about all the new releases, things that have already launched, things that are going to be launching soon, sneak peeks, all of that. It's going to be a good time. We're not going to judge each other. We can definitely like different makeup. If we all like the same things, the world would be a boring place. We can definitely disagree on the makeup without being angry at one another. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to pop up pictures of all the new releases. I'm going to share my opinions with y'all. I would love it if you would go to the comments and tell me what you think about all these new releases, what you're loving, what you hate, what you want to buy, what you want to buy, but you're not going to, you know, all of that. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. I'm going to slide my chair to the side. I'm going to pop up photos and we're going to judge. <music> super excited to be judging because last week I was on a scheduled vacation with my family so I had to miss but the Sunday before that I was super duper sick and I could not get a video up so I'm so sorry but I did have some pre-filmed content and things that went up so if you missed any of my videos from the past couple of weeks please do check those out. I have so many thoughts and opinions though but let's talk about what I am like so excited for yay glam light scooby doo glam light scooby doo round two i'm so so happy if you've been at my channel for a while you know that round one i loved so much those palettes from the scooby doo collection ranked so high in my year end palette ranking i just thought like so good all around such a good collection the highlighter the palette the everything was so well done so when i saw that they're doing round two i was pumped i'm like eh, 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 pumped i want to kind of talk about this collection overall and then we'll we'll save like my thoughts for the palette i'll show you a close-up picture of the palette all of that in a minute but let's kind of talk about this collection because there's a lot of stuff now this is actually launching today while you're watching this let me read you so i get it right and just know I will link everything down below. If I have discount codes for these brands, I will put them on the screen. I'll put them in the description box. All information I can give you on these launches will be in the description box. I see that this is launching on the 30th at 8 a.m. Pacific time. This says, due to licensing rights, this is an online exclusive. It is a limited edition and it will only be available on the website until May 31st and there are no restocks planned. I just want to let you know. I believe I'm getting this in PR from Glamlight. I will be doing a video. If they don't send it to me, I'm going to buy it all. But just know, as soon as I have it in my hands, I'm going to play with it. Whether I have to buy it, whether I get it in PR, I have to have this. Let's talk about everything except the palette first, okay? I think it's great that they're expanding on this collection. You probably already tell that. We have a brush set. I have some Glam Light brushes from the Michaela set. Um, the, here, these, the one with the green handles, and I like these. I think they're nice. So I'm down for a, another brush set. So it's four... It's that four makeup brushes for $16. There is an exclusive makeup bag for $18. And listen, I'm getting ready to go out of town again just for a little bit of a shorter trip. But if I have this bag before I go out of town, I'm definitely taking that bag with me because the mystery machine, I love. I love, I love Scooby-Doo. It hits me in the nostalgia. You know what I mean? Like it was spooky, scary, fun, adventure vibes as a kid. And the makeup bag is 18. Uh, then we have, let's see, Scooby Snacks Lip Care Duo. So a lip mask and a lip scrub that sounds so yummy like Scooby Snacks. I think that was a genius idea. We have a Daphne and Velma blush duo for $14. So two different blushes. Excited about that. And then there are lip kits. So there is a Daphne lip kit. And when we look at that, we can see it's more of a pinky type of color, a lipstick and a lip gloss. And then we have the Velma lip kit, which is more of an orangey brown type of color with a lipstick and a lip gloss. Hello, excited about that. There is a mirror. 
is the, I don't know if the mirror is going to be oh, okay. I don't know if the mirror is going to be exclusive to the collection. Um, I'm not. Yeah. Oh no. I'm sorry. The mirror is going to be 15. I'm so sorry. I missed that. The full collection without the makeup bag is going to be $109. And then you can use a code on top of that. I think that's really nice. If you want it with the makeup bag, it's going to be 127. So I'm excited. I'm excited about this. Like this is something I know I will get a lot of use out of this collection. I know I'll really enjoy this. Like I said, I really loved Scooby-Doo round one from them. I think it's amazing quality. So let me show you now a close up picture of the palette so that we can kind of talk through the palette together. First of all, I love that we have all the characters this time. I knew with the first round, Glamlight had said that because of the licensing and things like that, they could only do some of the villains, Scooby and Shaggy. So I'm happy to see that because that collection was so successful, they were able to get the rest of the characters in on this one. So if I look at the first two columns of this palette, where we have like the side with um, Shaggy and then kind of Velma at the bottom and Fred. So those two columns in between them in this photo it is so pleasing to me to see a full column of shimmers and a full co column of what looked to be kind of corresponding matte shades I think that makes this already like a no-brainer if you're looking at this you have no idea what to do take a matte put it in the crease put it on the lower lash line throw a shimmer on the lid the inner corner you're done two shades you're good to go and then when we look at the next three rows I am so inspired and I want to create. I really like how this column that's at the opposite end of the palette kind of by Scooby and Daphne is this full column of matte shades that are in these more rich type of tones. Like we have this brown, green, purple, red, blue, and then those two columns in the center between Daphne and Fred look really rich too. Like we have this really pretty yellow orange that looks right up my alley. It looks like we have an olivey tone, some beautiful shimmers. I just, I feel like looking at the collection and then seeing the color story of the palette, it makes sense to me. I think it goes super well together. I will leave my thoughts there. I can't wait to have it in my hands. I'm so excited. I was definitely doing like a little happy dance when I saw this because when they started saying they were going to do Scooby-Doo round two, I kind of thought we were going to have to wait till October to see this. So the fact that we're getting it now at the end of April, beginning of May, it just, I'm pumped. Okay, let's talk about these essence Baby Got Bronze Bronzing Sticks. So these are available now and I will link them in the description box for y'all. I got a lot of tags on this. If you ever tag me in the new releases on Instagram, like just in the comments of the brand or whatever site you see it on, I appreciate y'all so, so much. I do always have the Instagram accounts that I pull photos from down in the description box so that you can check them out if you like to. But I got a lot of tags on this um, bronzing stick. So this says it is a soft, creamy texture with a buildable formula. It says it's easy to apply and blend, gives face a dewy, radiant glow, available in three shades. And I like that we have four different skin tones of models. I think that's super helpful to see the shades swatched on those skin tones. These are only $4.99 each. So I was looking at these because I'm like, oh, like five bucks. I added them to my cart and then I was like, dewy radiant glow. So I looked at the ingredient list and there are a lot of oils in this product. And I want to, and oils are in the top like few ingredients. That usually means like ingredients towards the top of the list are in the highest, like th those are your key ingredients. And then, then the ingredients kind of get lower, the lower percentages they are in products. So when I was looking at that, I'm like, oh, I, just, I think I, I just feel like my oily skin is going to eat this away. And even though it's only $5, like $5 is still $5. You know what I mean? Like I can go to Starbucks and get a coffee for $5. So I decided to pass on this just because, like I said, reading that the first few ingredients were oils and then going 
through there seeing more oil 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 I'm like I think this will probably be better suited to my friends with dry skin so I actually ended up passing on this but I would love to know if you pick this up do you already have it I checked to see if it was any local stores around me nowhere like that but maybe you have a store close to you and you've seen this let me know what you think Okay, I won't spend too much time talking about the new Ketracel White Palette from Adept. I do already have a video with this palette here on my channel. You can check it out. I'm showing you swatches of all the multi-chromes. What is super special about this palette? First of all, if you didn't watch my video on it, I said when I opened this palette, I saw this before Adept had revealed it and I'm like, it's fun. It's very unexpected. I did not expect something like this from Adept, but what really pushed it over the edge for me into something that I am obsessed with are these, these two cream highlighters. So these are two multi-chrome cream highlighters. I wore these for hours. They stayed beautiful. I've worn them on top of powder, under powder now. Beautiful either way. Super easy to apply. Super beautiful with translucent bases on these so that you don't get any type of weird cast. And then for highlight today, I'm actually wearing this shade right here, Founder, just all swirled together. I just picked it up on my brush. In my video, I decided to swatch these shades individually because I knew Adept, like once they showed these photos, I knew that they had swatched the shades like all together, you know, like this. So I wanted to kind of swatch them individually and create an eye look for y'all, but you can definitely see on these models how, how they look, you know, straight across like that, if that's something that you were interested in. And again, I did mix the shades together for a highlight today. So this is what's on my face. And then I'm also wearing the Valentina face palette for blushes, but this had a like, early access launch that was only there for a few hours. I know a lot of y'all who watched my video got the palette, snagged it, got it a little bit early, but this is going to launch on May 4th. May 4th, $68, and I will put the launch details down below. This is a limited edition palette, so it says it's gonna come for sale on May 4th, and there will be one restock after this. So this is two creamy, blendable, iridescent, multi-chrome highlighters. So those are the creams, and then two smooth, powder, iridescent, multi-chrome highlighters with zero white cast. Free of talc, glitter, no mineral oil, no white oil, and it is a vegan palette. So I'm really enjoying that. I've had fun playing with it. I think it's super beautiful. I really like it as a highlighter today. And y'all know I love Adept. Y'all know I love Adept. I mean, I had a palette with Adept for over a year. Like, of course I love Adept, and this product is amazing as well. Y'all, if you've noticed that my eyes are red, I poked myself in the eye earlier they're not clearing up. It also doesn't help that I've been up since 4.30 this morning. Busy, busy, busy with family stuff. So please excuse my red eyes. Let's talk about these lip blushes, lip and cheek stains from Huda Beauty. So this says, use it on your lips and cheeks. Hydrating, kiss-proof, eight-hour wear. Five shades, available May 9th. So a lip blush, lip and cheek stain. I don't think this is going to be something I'm super interested in. I do really like some products from Huda Beauty, but I, I just, I don't know that I need this. And even though I think it looks really pretty, it's one of those products where I'm like, that looks really pretty. That looks really cool. I just don't need to spend my money on it. I do think it looks cool though. I'm sure we will see some lip swatching videos, some reviews of these. I'll definitely be watching my friends if they decide to pick these up. I like that we have some different shades here. There's kind of this like yellowy orange. There's more of like this corally pink, more of a cool tone pink, a more mauve tone. Like I think there are some interesting shades in here, but overall I just don't feel like I need it. Okay, I did buy this new primer from Beauty Blender. I posted a video testing out this primer on Friday, I believe. So if you want to watch that, I was testing a lot of new products. This is a new Boost line from Beauty Blender. So the Boost Firming and Smoothing Peptide Primer. I thought it was very nice, very glowy, just a little bit sticky, tacky, 
a little bit cooling in the beginning for $29. I'm still in the process of reviewing it, so I'll definitely follow up after I've tested it and played with it some more, but I do think it was it was really nice. That's kind of how I, my first impression was, that it was nice. Uh, and then there is a 4-in-1 Firming Peptide Setting Spray for $33, and I actually did order that. Hopefully my Sephora order will come to me today because I, I want to test this spray. I can put that in a video for y'all soon. We can play with the primer again, things like that. But I love setting sprays, not just for my face, but to use on shadows, especially if it's a setting spray that has glycerin in them to give me a little bit like more stick to my shadows. So I'm excited about this. I had never tried any of Beauty Blender's like makeup products. I had only ever used their sponges and their like brush soaps, things like that. So this intrigued me. I thought, why not? Let me try the brand. So I'll definitely be following up on both of these products, but I did buy them from Sephora. Okay, Unearthly Cosmetics revealed their new Don't Be Jelly palette. Now, Unearthly used to have a Don't Be Jelly palette. It was a nine pan full of multi-chromes and that palette is no more. This is an all new palette, no repeat shades, nothing like that, completely new shades. There are mattes in this palette, it is a 12 pan palette now. So I am getting this palette. Y'all know I just bought like four palettes from Unearthly. Uh, I'm having a video on Lore and Leather and Lace coming up soon, the new ones. I did a video on In the Dark and Dead of Night already. Um, so I bought those four and Unearthly did tell me that they're gonna send me this new Don't Be Jelly Eyeshadow Impressed Pigment Palette. So as soon as I have it in my hands, I cannot wait to create looks. Unearthly is a favorite brand for me. I think they're so unique. Their color stories are so fun. Their packaging is so fun. Their formulas are amazing. Amazing. So I'm excited. This palette is $60 and it is available now on the Unearthly site and it is expected to ship on May 2nd. So there are duochromes, multi-chromes, mattes. Mm, mm. You had me at multi-chrome, duochrome. Like, yes, this color story I'm into. I cannot wait to try this. I really like that in this colorful palette, we have a matte brown. I think that is gonna add so much versatility to this palette because I love color, I, I do, I love color, but I love a good neutral look too. I don't discriminate when it comes to makeup, you know, I love it. And I think that the way this palette is laid out is a very pleasing to the eye, but I think that center quad with that brown and the coral, I think, I could create something that's very neutral leaning while still being special and beautiful. So I'm excited to play with this palette. Again, y'all know I love this brand. If they weren't sending it to me, I would buy it. Listen, I bought their other, their four palettes that just launched. I totally would have bought this. I think it looks so pretty. What's Up Beauty has released new brushes. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have the brushes from their first launch and I think they're super duper nice. Now they are natural hair brushes. So I think they're really, really good, but they are expanding their line. I've been using these in videos. If you've been watching, I really like these. I'm happy to see they're coming out with new shapes. These are available now, so I will link them down below, but they say that these are handmade in Japan and I've been enjoying them. I think the shapes on these are really, really nice. Let's quickly talk about fragrance because I'm gonna buy all three of these new Sol de Janeiro scents. Do not disturb when in Rio and bikini season. I'm curious. I really like these Sol de Janeiro mist. I've reviewed, I think, all of them on my channel. I may be missing like one, but I know I've talked about them and I really like. So Do Not Disturb is a floral musk, warm and spicy. Then we have um, When in Rio, which is a warm amber with bergamot, pear, and jasmine. It's a floral scent. And then Bikini Season is the one I think that's going to be my favorite just from reading the notes. It's a tropical fruity gourmand fragrance and it says it is warm and spicy. So just know as soon as those are available, I'm going to buy them all. All I know right now is they're coming soon and I already have them like on my Sephora loves list so I can buy them as soon as they come in stock. 
Now, I was out of town when Ace Beauté revealed their new floral collection, but I did get these super early. So I do have a four look video up on my channel with these. One look with each of the palettes. My personal favorite is, of course, uh, the Begonia palette, the one with the greens and the mauves. I just think that's so fun. And then I also really love the Flora palette, the one with those yellow amber orangey tones but all of these are super duper beautiful these are available now i will link them down below again i have a video swatching all of these i have four looks if you want to see more about these palettes definitely check out this that video but i think these are really pretty y'all ColourPop in a lavender haze collection. I'm still debating if I want to buy this. Something about these washed out lavender tones in the palette are calling to me. Now, somebody at ColourPop contacted me and told me that they were gonna give me a code for May. So I don't think the code is active yet, but the code should be Heather5. I don't know if it applies to everything. I don't know a lot right now. I'm excited. I really hope it works. I really love ColourPop. I've been buying their stuff for years and I was out of town when this collection launched so we didn't get to talk about it but I want to know what you think because like I said there's something about the tones in this lavender palette that I'm debating like should I buy it should I buy it I think the super shock highlighter is a pass for me I really love the super shock highlighter formula but I don't like when it's in that big packaging I prefer when it's in the little smaller packaging there are three super shock um shadows and two glassy lip glosses. I do like the glassy lip gloss formula. So this is available now. I will link it down below. I just, why is the lavender calling to me? I mean, I'm wearing a purpley look today. I did film this look. You see these multi-chromes? I can't tell you what I'm wearing yet, but I did film it. It will be coming as soon as I can post this video. I will post it, but I mean, I, I'm into the purples right now. Okay, I have decided that I'm going to pass on these lipsticks from Glossier. So I think these actually look really, really pretty, even though I'm not gonna buy them. It's another one of those things where it's like something can be beautiful, it doesn't mean I need to buy it. There are tons of releases that I'm like, take my money, no questions asked, I need it. There are releases that I debate over. So when I see something that I'm like, you know what, that's pretty, but I don't need it. I, I lean into that feeling. I lean into that feeling because I can't buy everything. I only have one face. So I think I've decided to pass on these, even though I think these look interesting. So these are in a pink tube with a peekaboo window and a doe foot applicator. It says there is a black raspberry seed oil to moisturize dry lips. Um, nine shades, $22 each. These are available now. They're coming to Sephora in May. And I think these look good. I've never tried anything from Glossier. So let me know like if you have Glossier favorites. It's one of those brands that I'm always tempted by, but I never seem to purchase anything from. And I don't think these lipsticks are gonna push me to buy. Okay, here we have the new Guerlain Fall 2023 collection. So I can see who this is for. These two quads, they are not for me. I don't mind paying for luxury shadows. I really love Pat McGrath. I really love Natasha Denona. But what draws me to those brands is I think they do offer some unique formulas, some really beautiful types of things. Whereas with these Guerlain, when I look at the shades, when I look at the textures, I don't know that it's just anything that I would find to be like super special and unique for me. So I, I'm not interested in these, but I totally see who they're for. Again, just because I don't want something doesn't mean you can't want something. It doesn't mean I think, oh, why would they buy that? No, I totally get it. I totally see who this is for. It's just not for me. It's just not for me. But what is for me are those lipsticks because those brown tones... I want those. I want those. They look so beautiful. Beautiful. Velvet matte lipsticks. 
All I know is that it's coming soon. I want, I want, I want. House Labs released new shades in their Lay Monster Crayon Lip Product. So this is a collection of neutral lip colors that are long wear. This says that they have a like dual function as a lip liner and a lipstick. Skincare benefits like mango seed oil and ceramides, $22 each. So there are new shades. So eight of the shades are neutral shades. These are available now. And this is a product that I want to pick up, but I don't feel like a rush to pick it up. I think maybe next time I place a Sephora order, I'll buy one of these because I did buy this formula when the brand first launched, but I bought it in like a fun hot pink shade. It had a little bit of shimmer to it. And I don't wear that shade a ton. I like to have it when I want to. I don't like, I don't mind the formula, but I don't remember it being anything super noteworthy, but I really want to try a nude for that reason, because normally I do wear like mauve pinky brown type of shades. So I want to, I want to give this formula another chance because like I said, I did like the hot pink, but I feel like I'll get a better grasp on what I really think of the formula when I try it in a shade like this. So I think I'm going to pick one up. I think I'm going to pick one up. Just, it's just not a rush for me. It's like, you know what? When I see it, maybe I'll see it in store. Maybe I'll be making an online order. Maybe I'll grab one because I do think these look pretty. Let me know. Did you buy some? Now, I have this new NARS blush on my loves list as well. I want to buy this. This is going to be available on May 16th. These are the Afterglow Liquid Blushes from NARS. Now, these look to be more of a sheer type of blush. It says they're skincare infused liquid blushes, create a natural glow with buildable transfer resistant formula and layers. So I'm, I'm taking that to mean this is probably going to be a more sheer type of blush, which can be nice because then if you don't have enough, you can kind of build it up and not get carried away. You know, if you watch my video with trying the Juvia's Place blushes, I love those, but a little dab will do you, you know? So I have these on my loves list. I want to buy one. I am kind of leaning towards their iconic shade, the peachy with the golden shimmer. I think that could be pretty. I'm also like, I don't know. I think all of these shades really look pretty. And look, if you don't want to want these, don't look at the photos of these on the model. I'll leave that for the Sephora site because they look beautiful on the models. Of course they do. I mean, that's the model's job is to look beautiful. But Insatiable, that deep berry shade is calling to me. Wonderlust, that cool tone pink. Really, all of the shades are kind of calling to me. But at $32, at $32, your girl can't buy all the shades. Your girl cannot buy all the shades. So I think I'll buy one. And if I love it, maybe I can pick up a another shade, but I'm going to try it. Okay. Tarte launched their Shape Tape Radiant Concealer. 37 shades at $31 each. There is a pure white shade and this is a medium coverage radiant, no makeup finish. Let's talk about this concealer with triple hyaluronic acid blend, 24 hour hydration, and yeah, it is available now. Uh, the the radiant, the radiant finish. I'm like, I have that Huda concealer. It's sheer to buildable, where you can get it up to light. It has a more glowy finish. So I, I have that, and I'm really enjoying it. I don't feel the need for another concealer, so I'm gonna pass on this. But I think, listen, all of y'all with the dry skin are probably like, say what now? Radiant tart. Shape Tape Radiant Concealer. I, I totally see y'all being excited about this. It's just not for me. Now, what is for me is this Natasha Denona Concealer. I bought two shades because I'm like, I want to try this. I want to try this. Hopefully, it's coming in my Sephora order today. I loved Natasha Denona's Foundation, Foundation X. I was like, what is the name of it? Foundation X. I loved that foundation. It was a medium skin-like matte finish foundation. Love, medium coverage. Beautiful. So when I saw this high glam concealer, I'm like, yes, 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 so much yes. This says it is a hybrid concealer with active ingredients that work instantly and over time. There's also 
con there's concealer shades and then there's also color correctors too. So this says it diminishes the appearance of lines and wrinkles, blah, blah, blah. Long lasting concealer with a natural luminous matte finish, medium coverage. Medium coverage is my preference and I love when I can build a bit. Now a lot of people I see get hung up on the luminous matte type of claim that brands are doing now. What I have found to be true with those claims is it means it is a skin like matte. So it's somewhere between a satin and a matte. It's not going to give you that dead look that like sometimes a fully matte can give where you know you're trying to bring things back to your skin. It's not a radiant foundation, but it looks very skin like and I really like that claim. When I see products that say luminous matte, things like that, things that sound like an oxymoron, I'm into it because it usually means skin like. So hopefully I will love this. We will see. It is available now. Did I tell you there's 34 shades? So definitely check it out. If you're interested, I'll link it down below. Okay, we have a couple of little sneak peeks I thought we would talk about right here at the end. Sugar Drizzle Polis has kind of teased these dual ended multi chrome shadow sticks. Y'all know I really like uh, sugar drizzle. I have a whole sugar drizzle playlist on my channel if you want to check it out. So right now we just have the little teaser and then we also have this Simply Posh. Did I say Simply Posh earlier when I was talking about sugar drizzle? Now we're talking about Simply Posh. Then we were talking about sugar drizzle. We just have this teaser. I do have all three of these palettes. I really like them, but we ha I have Fairy Tale Fairies, Very Icy, Genuine Gems. I have videos on all of those. And now we have a preview of Citrus Punch. This is all I have at the time that I'm filming this. So hopefully, you know, we will see some more details on this one soon, but I'm definitely intrigued. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I am excited for next week. Thank you so much. If you tag me on the new releases on Instagram, it helps me so much. Leave me a comment here, what you want to talk about next week. I will tell you quickly, I'm wearing my Pat McGrath bronzer in bronze Nirvana that I have been testing. I used that with y'all in my Friday video. I'm wearing unearthly immortal lashes, unearthly glint lip gloss, and then blend bunny lip liner and lipstick in doll face. I again did film this eye look. It will be coming as soon as I see the brand post about this. I will post it as well so I can show you because I'm super into this. I hope you're having a great day. Please do subscribe. I have lots of videos coming for y'all. Thank you so much for being here and I will talk to you soon. Bye!